Hey ya, uh, I'm Emma. I'm the founder of Mama Luna. I make Yoni steam seats and I also make reusable sanitary towels from a range of African prints. I also run workshops um, online and hopefully when the coronavirus lockdown stuff is over, I'll be able to do them in person again. I run workshops, but Mama Luna is also a platform for like women's empowerment and all things to do with fucking up the patriarchy. So yeah. So yeah, please make sure you subscribe to my um, channel so don't miss any videos that I upload and for the videos that you do watch, please like, comment, share and yeah, let us have a discussion. So, in this video I'm going to be speaking about another common, um, well frequently asked question about yoni steaming, which is does it help to regulate your cycle? The answer is yes. So in my previous video, I spoke about it helping specifically with periods and cramps, and that does sort of relate to this, because obviously that's part of the cycle. So the way yoni steaming helps to regulate your cycle is that it puts your central nervous system, which is literally in charge of like balancing your, like your hormones in your body and just regulating, sending basically sending messages all throughout your body, to your hypothalamus, which is like the eyes and ears to the outside world, but also the, your, like your own internal world, like your own body system. That's not only physically, but that's also energetically and emotionally because they, they all work as one. Like we're not separate from like the environment. We're not separate from our emotions. We're not separate from like energy or vibrations. So your central nervous system is where the most neurotransmitters, which are basically the body's messengers um, send, yeah, sort of like come out, come out from, and then send messages again to your hypothalamus, which is where, let's say, all of these messages are sorted out. Let's just say the hypothalamus is like a massive sorting room for mail and um, packages. So, what was I saying? Yeah, the way the way it works is that when when you're actually doing a steam, the top of your yoni which is like which would be the lining of your endometriosis and then also the lining of your your egg tubes that's incredibly close to your central nervous system so the heat can rise up through your yoni and then hit your central and then hit the base of your central nervous also of your nervous system which sits at the very bottom of your spine so the two are so of are incredibly close um so once the steam hits your central hits, hits the sorry the base of your central nervous system that just activates it incredibly quickly so any messages that i say your nervous system gets it's so quick it sends those messages up through your spine into your hypothalamus incredibly quickly and also what happens is when the herbs actually enter into your bloodstream it's just so much easier for then your hypothalamus to be like, oh, we've got these herbs in our body now, so what's actually going on? Each herb has a specific function or message, shall I say, but the main, I'd say, in, in, in when it comes to reg, regulating your cycle, a herb that's very active in that is motherwort, and I'll, I'll, I'll speak about that just just a little bit later, but just just keep on just keep on to that. In general, the way it works is 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 that yoni steam is just great for basically putting your body back into its own natural rhythm. So there are lots of things that can cause your your cycle to to fall out of whack. A major one is 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 stress because stress actually does take a massive toll on your body. I don't want to say that your period, your menstruation specifically, takes a toll on your body it's just that it actually does take up a lot of energy like your immune system and your digestive system need like 80 percent of like your overall body's energy just when you're having your menstruation alone so um when you're stressed your body does not or your hypothalamus which is basically the engine room of your emotions your sorry your pituitary gland doesn't um it doesn't produce the follicular stimulating hormone which is responsible for like triggering the start of your menstruation because it 
gets it's getting a signal that your body is stressed your body can't handle being stressed and being on your period at the same at the same time so what happens is when your when your body picks up on picks up on the herbs so there's there's mugwort also st john's wort is actually really good to use and nettle because they're both i suppose that they're really good balancing hormones but they also work specifically on your nervous system the nervine herbs so they target your nervous system specifically and help to create a balance where there is an imbalance and to, to try and maintain some sort of um regularity so when those herbs are picked up on your hypothalamus sorts it all out sends it to your pituitary gland and it's like okay here's what's actually happening and here's what needs to happen so it just helps to re regulate every everything so there are different stages of our cycle so the first part is the actual menstruation so your cycle starts when you actually bleed and i've mentioned before already that your pituitary gland creates and release releases the hormone the follicular stimulating hormone so that is released at the beginning that's what causes your your bleeding and then that starts to slow down and then after that is when ovulation comes in and the hormone responsible for ovulation is a luteinized luteinizing hormone and when that is created and released then the body also creates your your pituitary gland also creates and releases estrogen and estrogen is what's responsible for not only ovulation but it's actually what's responsible for making the actual egg burst out of the actual egg follicle if that makes sense so then that's the ovulation part and then after that the luteinizing hormone levels then take a massive dip because obviously the ovulation time has gone so estrogen is no longer needed and then progesterone is then the next bit that is actually is the sorry the next hormone that's then created so that's when you've gone past ovulation and you're you, like you have less chances of yeah been able to conceive and then that's when your body then goes back to being on its period again if that if that makes sense i'll break this down a bit more in another video but that's how the men that's how sorry your cycle works so it's very much to do with i'd say the levels of estrogen and progesterone are very are very key here and if those two are out of balance then that's going to cause your whole cycle in general to be out of balance so yoni steaming it literally is all about your hypothalamus your pituitary gland and your central nervous system all communicating with each other to put your body back to rights this is even if you're if you're on the coil if you've got the pill as well because the thing is those though the pill like different contraceptive pills and i'm not like being this isn't throwing any shade i've been on goodness knows <sighs> How many contraceptive pills and they just didn't it just didn't really work for me I just didn't really like it and or them shall I say um, they just they mimic levels of progesterone progesterone to make your to make your body believe that you're pregnant and then it stops you from or it's what's likely to stop women from having having periods if your body believes it's there's no need for it to have its period then it means you're more likely to be it believes that you're pregnant if it believes that you're pregnant then you don't need to release eggs all the time anymore so then that means levels of estrogen are very low that means the luteinizing hormones are very are very low and for a lot of women even when they come off of different contraception um different pills contraceptive pills because they've had these hormones or these tablets and everything in their bodies for so long it's it's just it just takes a while for the body to get back to normal so whether you're on different contraceptive pills or not yoni steaming is great for just helping to like bring your cycle and everything back into balance so i hope that's understandable if not then please again like no I, I won't feel bad if you say like actually that wasn't clear or maybe i just need a bit more information like please do feel free but i hope you've just maybe understood how yoni steaming specifically helps so it's not this hippie hippie dippy thing it's not a trend like it's actually it's actually medicine it's actually working with your body it actually i suppose for me it feels like it brings everything sort of like back to nature it's so easy to forget that we as people 
are actually part of nature and we have our own rhythms and we have our own cycles as well and especially women like we literally have <laughs> our menstrual cycle and um i suppose like the lifestyles we live now try to make us live in a very sort of like linear linear fashion whereas again we have a cycle we have a whole ass cycle going on inside of us and um yoni semen is a great way to yeah put your pituitary gland and your yoni back in touch because what your um what your pituitary gland basically does is create and release measured amounts of hormones and it knows exactly when to do it which exact amount so that we like as human beings so that our bodies can still function at, at the best level and normal in terms of making our cycle more regular um yoni semen is really great to help you find your own normal you'll read a lot of literature that says our cycle is 28 days and that is in sync with the moon that's not the case for everyone that's not the case for everyone my normal could be completely different to your normal or to your mum's normal or to your friend's normal you know what i mean you just need to find your normal and yoni semen is absolutely amazing for helping with that um, I just want to speak about motherwort specific, specifically now, just a little bit before I end this video. The reason why motherwort is a really key ingredient when it comes to um, a yoni steam blend that is meant to be for regularity is because motherwort is really good to use if you're, um, I say experiencing, I want to say like extreme stress and panic and anxiety, because when, when you're experiencing either of those three states, your heart is beating at an alarming rate and what happens is that it sends a message to your brain constant saying that you're just stressed all the time and then that throws your that throws your I suppose it'd be your central nervous system out out of whack so because you're then stressed as I mentioned before before early on and um, your body will not be in a state of stress and allow you to have your period at the same time so mother war is really good for helping to just like really calm down like the stress that's sitting on your heart so that's like heart palpitations and if you're experiencing stress over a long pro um, prolonged period of time mother war is also really good for helping to bring your central nervous system back into balance just a bit more i would not say it's a nervine herb but just the fact that it's able to work on on your heart if you have again like heart palpitations and experiencing like quite extreme stress anxiety and panic attacks it will help to just lower the lower the levels of cortisol that then sits on your heart um before it's then dispelled throughout into into the rest of your body so that's why mother wall is really good for then helping to regulate your cycle because it takes it's almost like a year it just takes the stress away from from your heart so we're not holding as much stress in our chest and then we're not sending signals to our brain saying we're constantly stressed anyway this video has gone on for a bit longer <laughs> than i intended but again i hope it was i hope it was clear and i hope you understand like a bit more in terms of like the physiology what's actually going on within us when when we steam what hormones are created and when but again, if not, feel free to holler at me and I won't, I won't be <laughs> offended at all in the slightest. Anyway, catch you next time for another video. In the meantime, if you like, feel free to browse my website, go and look at the different seats, um, reusable sanitary towels that I make as well. Have a look at my website to see when I've got workshops coming up. My next one. is Sunday the 31st of May from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. UK or GMT time and that one is called Steam Out the X and Other Love Stories. So whether you've just broken up with someone, whether you're happily single, whether you're in a partnership, whether you want to take your union to the next level, if you're celibate and everything in between like let's just have a conversation about sex relationships and like just getting like old stagnant energy out of our body and all of that but anyway i'll put the links down down below see you next time ciao